Alipote ya njudwa sente waka choka parlamenti ya kalondole vya mateka jako boboso bosa kawa deke kenenye bako lino enyo nyola ante viku lukuli ya muntu ya nao kulaga uboku sindika ifana nyo obo tambia vya obo segu edio muntu wa mulala uboku tigati go muntu ya nana echi kendo ya choku msenda senda uviku lewe mkwano abeda zizo msangu kuno na wabanyu miaka bozi no kusagida na wakozi haba hizi ya wadi na wabantu wabala wafuna nzi wako vtelevu mchitongo lecha kulida wabwa msaonga subi zomu wadok mwonya wila zizo msango okusinzi la kubago lino edanga sobulo kusindiki wa mkolo koni ebanga itaka wansuwa miaka kumi wabwa kusasule nga siya wukadana edio mtu wako zedwe vikuluwebio the bill father proposes to create an offense of aggravated rape where rape is committed in the following circumstances. A. The sexual offender is, a, is infected with HIV or suffering from AIDS. B. The offender is a serial offender. C. The victim suffers disability. Mtu ya nawa mbo mtu na waka chifoja mkulida na chikendo ya choku mkaka kabozi lewa kufunani wanga mbele yo. The bill further proposes to prescribe a penalty of life imprisonment if a person commits the offense of rape and eight years if he or she attempts to commit the offense of rape. Hawa sirikali wa polisi na wa sirikali wa makumeda waka basanya wa siwe nga waka kwa mkwano waka basa nda senda mbikule vyo mkwano na vete kalino jiwa kwa tirani igufulo wa musango. The bill father proposes that when a person obtains consent for a sexual act by means of threats, duress, undue influence, misrepresentation, or intimidation of any kind, the consent is negated. Singa inafuliwe teka, nigenda gufu la musango. E bago le teka inirali gufu de musange liyo mtu yena, yeta wa mchikule cho mkwano, no mtu we chikule chimu. Obanda ya chisolo, mgo kusinzi la kubago lino parlament yeta nso kubaga nyake vila ozo. O mtu yo, singo musango musinga, wa kusiwange miaka kumimu mkomyo. The committee therefore recommends that for completeness, section clause 11 should stand part of the bill albeit with the amendments that the ingredients of the offense are defined to include one, the penetration of another person's anus with that other person's sexual organ or any other object, two, a ban on a sexual act between persons of the same Jenda. Ato mtu aneta mbiko lewe kusubi ya kumwana, atanetu kanga, atimanyi ulonji nita inaka ukaka mkende nya. Ngo mwana ina ule mkumbili guwe, sunga na achikoze wabawa wa Luganda re, yewa kusubi ya ngemi yake jitaka wansu wa kumina mnana. Clause 36 of the bill proposes to allow a person who had consented to a sexual act to withdraw that consent at any time before or during the performance of the sexual act. Wabula waka wakubaga nyempa wako njingo mbago lino Echua mkubaga lwa wienzo usaza mwako kanya kwa wako ze Wakugena mchiko lecho mkwano These are actually realities I know the challenge is about measurement How would you measure withdrawal of consent? How would you evaluate? At what point? In this whole issue they have not specified the areas I never want to qualify this and say There must be no touching of boobs. Yes. yes. But now in this case, they are just giving a blanket statement. How safe are the men of Uganda? Now, if we are going to say that we can never use a gesture, is there going to be a love affair anywhere in Uganda? There are certain things we cannot go into. We cannot change society's rules, these laws. We are out no defilement, but it's still happening. But I also want to implore the, the, the men here that uh, withdrawal is not only for, for women. Withdrawal is okay, fine. But how are you going to enforce it? The problem here is how do you measure consent? Because when you go to my friends in Karamoja, a lady will not say yes. A lot can happen because there is no a judge or a magistrate will come to know that there was no consent. There is this interest of money. If we don't include in the bill a punishment for some people, some ladies, who want to extort money from men.
then the law will not help. Bagolini, Yayan Jurich, Vinichita, Bakawa, Chialam Palamenti, Gayagaloku, Mukazo, Om Saja Betu, or where you saw Walk with Genta, Machuko Lorenzo and Gensalismo, Wabula reporter Yakachika, Kalondo, Levia Mateka, Kava decade, Bagolino, E Gambian, Yomukwaga, no good Genta, Chikola, Chikola, Wenga, and Tibana Genam Chikola, and Yini, Singomukwaga, and Azula, and to Wolia, Walivia Kansi Duaki, to Kizi Dua, and Tibana Gena Namboli, Navy Dala. The bill now proposes to introduce post-penetration consent, which occurs in a situation where two people initially engage in a consensual sexual intercourse, but during the intercourse, one person changes his or her mind and withdraws his or her consent to the sexual act. For example, if they have agreed to have protected sex, and then someone says, after reaching there, that no, we are not protecting it, somebody should be allowed to withdraw consent. offensive communication. Nirecho naka sewa kusakide gulirino, Rav Kede TV.